We love these stuffed pork chops with sauteed apples, onions, and cheese. Prepare the stuffing ingredients first. We have some melty cheese. I have Gruyere, which is my favorite, but I also love a sharp white cheddar in this dish. For two chops, you will need about two ounces. Next, grab a small apple and slice it thinly. And finally, slice half of a small to medium onion. For seasoning our pork, we need one teaspoon of chopped fresh thyme. Add that to two teaspoons of Dijon mustard and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. We will use the seasoned mustard later on. We need thick cut pork chops for this recipe. These are about one and a half inches thick. To make the pockets, use a small sharp knife and cut into the fattier side of the chop like this. Then slide the blade back and forth until you have a nice sized pocket. Season the chops with some salt. I use a quarter teaspoon each and season the outside of each chop as well as the inside of the pockets. Before stuffing the chops, we sear them in a skillet until golden brown on both sides. The step doesn't fully cook the chops, which will happen after we stuff them. If you have a fattier edge on your chops, sear it for 20 seconds or so to brown it. Now that the chops are golden brown on both sides, we can transfer them to a plate and then use the same skillet for cooking the onions and apples. If there's a lot of rendered fat in the pan, you can remove it. We cook the onions first until they start softening, then toss in the apples and cook until they are tender. As always, the full recipe with extra tips is on inspired taste. Smear the seasoned mustard from earlier over the seared chops and get some inside the pockets. This adds so much flavor. Now we can stuff the chops. Fill the pockets with a bit of cheese, then add as much apple and onion mixture as you can. It's okay if some of the stuffing wants to fall out. Use toothpicks to help secure as much stuffing inside the pockets as possible. Then gather the leftover apples and onions and make a bed in the middle of the skillet and place the stuffed pork chops on top. Now roast the chops in a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven until an instant read thermometer reads 145 degrees when inserted into the thickest part of the chop and the stuffing. Let the chops rest outside of the oven for a few minutes and then dig in. These are so flavorful. We hope you try them. Enjoy and see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you love this video, we have lots more. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and say hi on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. We're at Inspired Taste.